Hey Virgo, what's up? I hope you're all doing really well. This is going to be a general love reading for mid-December 2021 and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general, so it won't resonate for all of you. But of course you can check out one of your other signs if you want or you can book a personal reading with me. You can find all that information in the description box. All right, so Virgo, what is the overall energy? For Virgo, okay, and we have the answer is yes. All right, <laughs> so if you were just thinking of a question um, or something, well, the answer is yes. We're gonna see what this is about um, once we get into the tarot. So yeah, let's get into it. What is the answer is yes about? Also keep in mind that the roles can definitely be reversed regardless of whether you are cross-watching or not. All right, because the reading is general. So, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Last two weeks of December. Okay, for the situation, we have the Eight of Pentacles crossed by the Wheel of Fortune. For you, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles, all right? So this is past, present, and future here, or near future. And for them, we have the Hierophant, the Four of Swords, and the World. Potential outcome, we have the Fool. Okay, Virgo. So starting off here for the situation with the Eight of Pentacles crossed by the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's really focused on something. I feel like somebody is really, really focusing on something, trying to do something, putting in the effort, but at the same time possibly resisting a little bit of um, the change that needs to take place in order for whatever they're working towards to fully manifest. All right, so that could be you or it could be them. Maybe it's even the both of you. Um, yeah, or it just feels that way. It feels like, you know, like no matter how hard you're trying or that they're trying for something, that things just seem to kind of stay the same. Something along those lines. Um, for the recent past, I feel like you started, or you, either you started or you felt like you were on a new path. Like there was something new. It felt like a new beginning was um, taking place. And I'm also getting that for them with this Hierophant, um, that they were just, you know, this person um, possibly was very stable or just appeared more stable or just appeared to be um, learning something maybe from this connection in order to move things forward in a new way, in a different way. Um, but in the current situation, I feel like something just feels like it didn't fully reach that. Because I see you with this um, Six of Cups, it's like, it's like there's this nostalgia, like wishing for something to be the way it maybe once was in the past, or just really missing this person. Because I do see this person currently being a little bit passive here. I do get that they're healing. <clears throat> And they are moving towards a completion of a cycle, that's for sure. So I feel like whatever that Wheel of Fortune is, I feel like it's actually going to turn, things are going to shift, and there is going to be some kind of a completion. But it's like right now, I feel like it's the it's like the stillness before the storm or... Um, because, I mean, I'm not really seeing it as a storm, but it's like the stillness before the action, kind of like that. Um, and for you, but for you though, it's interesting because I feel like you're kind of going to be holding back almost like, do I really believe that this cycle is complete? So I feel like you're going to be holding back a little bit, like almost not believing it. In the potential outcome though, we have the fool. So that's definitely a new beginning. So yeah, the answer is yes. Whatever it is that needs to close out or shift or move forward, that wheel is going to turn. That's what I am seeing here. So let's clarify. 
So let's see that four of, sorry, the eight of pentacles with the wheel of fortune. Interesting that I, that I almost said four of pentacles and we got the four of pentacles clarifying. All right, so four of pentacles, the page of wands, and the five of wands. Okay, yeah, so it feels like whoever this is, whoever it is that's resisting um, a change, I do feel like it is the other person in this particular situation because they're the ones here showing that they are passive and then you're the one kind of, you know, fantasizing about, you know, what this could be or what it could have been or something along those lines. So almost lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, so whoever it is that is focusing on making that shift, which I see it as being your person, it's like they're holding on to something um, pretty stubbornly. Um, it's like they, they, they're they trying, right? Again, it, it is coming through as them trying, like taking these little steps here, right, with the page of wands. But I feel like they run into a lot of conflict and possibly they're running into conflict um, from external sources like other people maybe or just something outside of this relationship or of this connection and so it's like they, they hit some challenges and that's kind of what prevents that wheel from turning even though they are focusing on it, it it's it's almost like they just there's this need to release to release a little bit of that rigidness and just go through it Go through that five of wands energy. For some of you, if you are in communication or if you are together or in contact, um, this could actually be creating a lot of tension in your connection. Possibly even arguments for some of you. So let's see that ace of pentacles in the recent past for your energy. Ooh, and we have the King of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, so yeah, I feel like, you know, you were, you felt ready. You were really ready to, you know, like, let's do this. You know, we got the, we can have this commitment. Um, I feel like you were just, you know, feeling very passionate about this new beginning. Whatever that is, even if it was um, to break away from this person, maybe even for some of you, to break away from the connection, but definitely something new when it comes to this connection. And I feel like you felt really, really strongly about that. And I feel like this person was like in a similar energy to yours. Let's see this Hierophant for a very recent past. Mm, two of Cups and the Nine of Swords. What is this about? I feel like this person definitely felt the connection with you, um, felt a very deep connection with you, a lot of love here, but there was also something that was either haunting them or creating a lot of stress for them. And I feel like that's related to whatever it is that needed to close out or whatever it is that they needed to shift, some kind of a change that they needed to make. Like it wasn't happening. Maybe you felt it was happening for some of you. But this person knew, even though, you know, they they wanted this, but they were still um they were still not well. So I don't know why I just said it like that. Maybe for some of them they actually were literally ill. Um, like physically. But for others, I feel like it's more of a psychological issue. Hmm. Let's see what's going on now. Let's see the current energy here, the Six of Cups review. You know, for this person, the other person here, it could definitely be someone else involved. It could be someone else, either either another commitment or another, um, possibly even a person from their family with the Hierophant. Um, 
because this could also be related to two traditional beliefs as well. And it could be that they were going through a lot of stress concerning that, which is also in line with that um, five of wands energy that I was talking about before. So for the six of cups though, for you, we have the two of pentacles, the eight of cups, and the seven of wands. Okay, yeah, see, so remember when I said that coming up, it's like you're almost not believing it. It's like you're holding back your energy back from this person. I feel like you're you're kind of already in that kind of an energy. Um, you're not sure. You're moving in that direction, though, for sure. I feel like you have your guard up already. And it's like you're walking away almost. You miss them. Or you're feeling nostalgic about that possibility of what this could have been or the or how it could have progressed had this shift been made um but but you're walking away i feel like there's a little bit of back and forth i feel like your feelings at the moment are are kind of fluctuating back and forth Let's see for them. Let's see the four swords. The star, the nine of cups, and the fool. Okay, yeah, see? So this fool card that we have for the potential outcome, it's in this person's energy here. So they are healing. They're healing. They're passive right now. They might appear to be passive, but there's a lot of healing that is happening um, from whatever this hierophant was here. For them and for each of them, it could be something different. Definitely coming in as some kind of a, a commitment. I do feel like it has to do with someone, someone else, like a person. I don't necessarily feel like it's a job, um, but it definitely could be. It could be anything, and it was just creating a lot of stress um, between the two of you, but also between them and and that other situation, which again could just be a family member. It does not have to be like a romantic partner, but there's something here. Some something is involved um, where they needed to make a shift. So, yeah, at the moment, this person is really wishing, I mean, the, the star and the nine of cups, that's, <laughs> that's a lot of wishing. That's a lot of wishing for you and a lot of wishing to take that leap of faith, to start new, to start again. And not only that, but the four of swords and the star that's talking about healing so th this person is definitely healing what needed to be healed within them in order to have that wish fulfillment and to take that leap of faith risk whatever you want to call it into a new adventure with you so let's see let's clarify the world for them coming up in the near future because that's a completion Ooh, the Empress and Judgment. Wow, yeah, this is like two major arcana cards clarifying a major arcana card. And they're all beautiful. Um, this person is really stepping into their power and successfully making a decision, making a discernment, closing out a cycle or a chapter or just something, right? Turning that wheel and starting again, having a rebirth. The answer is yes. You're holding back though. Let's see. Let's see that four of pentacles for you. Yeah, the nine of wands, the five of pentacles, and the six of wands. Yeah, because you're afraid of feeling disappointed again. You're afraid of feeling abandoned again or feeling like, like you lost. <laughs> you know, in this connection. And so there's some resistance here. Because there's a fear of this just not being completed, not being successful. It's like you just don't really believe, so you're kind of holding back here. And that's okay. That's okay. You know, until this person can prove it to you and then you can see how you feel and if you still feel the same way. So let's see the fool for the potential outcome. The 
Knight of Wands and the Two of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely action here, but again, it's it's like it's happening with doubt. I feel like there's there's action. This person is doing it. This person is like <laughs> full speed ahead. Taking that leap, taking that action. Um, but I feel like they're gonna be met by you being in this two of swords energy. Um, just not really sure. And like I said, that's okay. So Virgo, if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up and let's get a final oracle message for you. Just anything that wants to come through for you at this time. There we go. And we have practice compassion, see things from a fresh perspective. I feel like the other person is doing this um, for sure. But yeah, take that as it makes sense for you. And yeah, those were your messages, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching and much love.